Welcome to part three of Pot of Gold. In this segment, I'm going to show you a couple things. How to take and create this background and paste it in place so that you can finish your project. I'm going to select it and I'm going to delete it so that I can show you how I did this. The first thing that I did was I went into the internet. In the internet, I went to images and I chose clouds. Once you found clouds, you don't want some light, puffy, airy cloud because this is with a rainbow. So you're going to be looking at a, a picture that might be similar to the ones that are here. And your choice, what you want to do is you go in and look to see how big the image is, find it, right click, save the picture as, and this one will leave it as clouds 9. I can close out of the internet and now I'm ready to place it into this picture. What I'm going to do is make sure that I have my background layer selected and it's the one at the bottom. If not I'll have to rearrange my layers. Under the choice file I go to place and I choose a picture. I'm going to choose this picture here of the cloud and place it. Notice that it's smaller than it needs to be. So in that case, I might have to take and use the corners, pull the little handles until I get it large enough to cover the areas that I want. With it selected, I'm going to change the effect. I'm going to go under effect to artistic and let's see I think I want a dry brush but let's go in there and take a look if I choose cut out you can see that doesn't look too much like a picture and as I go through some of them really don't give me the look I'm looking for that one's not too bad the smudge stick I could use that in this case I'm gonna pick the dry brush and I will say okay notice that added an effect to the background and to the picture once I click off of it I'm good to go if I decide to choose the T for text, I can then come in here and I can place my name in the bottom. Now, because that name is so small, and you can't see it very well, you might want to take it and stretch it out so that it's larger. So I might have to scale it or make it bigger to begin with. Thank you.